Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock and in today's news we're discussing Masiro Sakurai because he has revealed an unknown Super Smash Bros. prototype. That's right everyone, after the passing of the late great Satoru Iwata, a book was created by Hobonishi Publishing called Iwata-san in which many people that were close to Satoru Iwata such as Sugura Miyamoto as well as Masiro Sakurai were interviewed to give an inside look of what Satoru Iwata's life was like at Nintendo. In this video, we're discussing a part of the book that was translated by Push Dustin on Twitter where Masiro Sakurai reveals the unknown prototype for the original Super Smash Bros. game. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you all can see in your screens here, it states this. After working on Superstar, Sakurai began working on various prototypes for the Nintendo 64 in order to get an understanding of how the new gaming system will work and its capabilities. He initially did this by himself as the other staff were finishing various aspects of Superstar. Sakurai started studying the 3D tools and animation before writing the game design documents. The first prototype he designed was Ryuo Fighting King, translated by NOA as Dragon King. The game would use the four controller ports and the analog stick features of the Nintendo 64. The other prototype he designed was an adventure game with a robot as the main character. Iwata programmed both prototypes. The gameplay felt like the player was controlling the robot as if it was a RC car. The robot would explore a mysterious city that was underground. The mysterious city would only be accessible by a drill and only the robot could enter it. The robot would need to hack into cameras around so the player could see further into the city. In the end, a game with a very similar control mechanic was released, the original Resident Evil. Iwata would work on these prototypes on the weekends. Work would continue for a while, but in the end, it was decided to focus on the fighting game, as it could be completed faster. The adventure game would take at least two years to finish. So there you all have it. Could you imagine if we got the adventure robot game instead of the fighting game? That would probably mean that Super Smash Bros. would have never been created and we wouldn't have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as of today, which is pretty strange when you think about this. But at the same time, Iwata's influence on Masuda Sakurai has stemmed through years and he constantly talks about this. It's great to see this coming from Masuda Sakurai himself. In this interview for the Iwata-san book, we all know that Satoru Iwata had major influence on Masuda Sakurai and the Nintendo as a whole and we do miss him dearly. If anyone is interested in the Iwata-san book, a link is in the description box below. Please check it out if you are interested. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on Masahiro Sakurai revealing this unknown Super Smash Bros. prototype in remembrance of Satoru Iwata? Please let me know down in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and share this video as well. And as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock. We're here, we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.